Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs. Moskowitz's Art Room. Today I want to introduce you to a very interesting artist whose name is George Surratt. And George Surratt, number one, was not crazy. And number two, he was classically trained. He did go to art school. He didn't like it very much, but he went. And he learned basic techniques and styles. And then he quit so that he could experiment with his own way of doing art. And what he liked to do is he liked to work with colors. And he didn't want to blend colors because a lot of time when you blend colors, you can make them very muddy. So he would transpose and put one color next to another color so that when you look at it very, very close up, it just looks like a whole bunch of dots and dashes. But then when you take it away, you'll see that over here, he has a woman in a red dress. There's water over here, there's land here, there's a tree with its branches and leaves and the sky in the background. But up close, it just looked like a bunch of blobs and colors. This one too, looking at it up close, you just see a lot of dashes of color. But then if you take it away, the picture comes into focus and you can see that there's a gentleman in the center with a top hat and a, a long coat and a cane and women all behind him and even writing. And everything is done in dots and dashes. So Surratt would practice with using colors and color families. That's why they're always so important to know. This painting over here is one of his most famous paintings. It's called Sunday on Le Grand Jeté and it's by George Surratt. And believe it or not, there are 40 different people in this painting. And he would go to this park every Sunday and sketch people. And he would use pencil, chalks, pastels, and he would sketch them and get an idea of it. And then he would take all of his sketches back into his studio where he would work on this huge canvas to make this painting. And if you look closely, this is done in the style of like Egyptian paintings where everyone is very stiff and facing in one direction. You don't really see much movement going on, except maybe this little girl over here who looks like she's skipping. But right in the center here, you see this little girl along with her nanny with the umbrella. And if you look at that very, very closely, you'll see that Surratt used tints. He mixed colors with white and he got very pale blue. He got a pale red and a very pale yellow that he blended to make this beautiful design of this little girl with her nanny. And in other areas over in here, we'll take a closer look. You can see he used complementary colors. And over here in her hat, you can see that he used blue and orange, which are complementary colors. And over here, he used the reds and the greens together so that it makes each color look much more vibrant. And when you step back and you look at the whole picture, it does not look like dots because your eyes are blending the colors. Over in here, your blues and your yellows are blending together for greens. Your red and yellow is blending together for your oranges and your reds and your blues are blending together for the purple. But this is all made out of dots, dashes, and circles. There's no blending of the colors here except for in your eyes. So in this picture, which is his most famous picture, you'll find 40 people, three dogs, one monkey on a leash, a man playing a horn, a man smoking a pipe, two soldiers, one pink butterfly, and one cane. And the beauty of this picture, I think, is every time you look at it, you're going to see different things every single time. I've looked at this picture tons and tons of times, and there's a lot of things that I had never noticed before. I did not realize there were 40 people in this picture. 
which to me is very impressive. Trying to draw one person is difficult. He did 40 people in here, all doing different things. And what's nice about this too, you can see the period clothing. People were out on boats. There's our cane over here. There's a fan on the ground here. And there's lots and lots of people. Here are your soldiers doing different things on different days. So um, we will be doing a project similar to Surratt's, not as big as what he did because I don't want to take you till next year. So we will do a much smaller project and we will be blending colors with your eye, not with paints, so that you can see how to build the colors up and to make your own beautiful landscape. We'll be discussing a composition of landscape and how to put your own together. So in the meantime, stay creative and I will see you soon. Bye from Mrs. Moskowitz's art room.